What is up, boys and girls? Empire Steve back with you yet again. Today is Saturday, the 21st. Before we go into this conversation, I want to uh, go into, uh, I want you to know that Apex Trader funding is still 80% off. It will be that way until Monday night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York time. My code is down below. Also, Tick Tick Trader funding is doing a, um, is doing a uh, coupon at the same time and it's I think it only lasts until tonight um, and that that will be down both of the and that both of that information will be down below and under the video select more and then you'll probably have the more again you'll see all of it down there uh, tick ticks is pr pretty appealing it's a 100k pro account it's only a hundred dollars and you get a you get one free reset i wish i knew that before i bought another 100k express yesterday i ended up taking an express and trying to pass it in one trade and i'll show you what happened with that it was it would have been amazing had i been uh, a little bit more patient uh yesterday afternoon but um you'll see you'll see what i'm talking about so now that I've explained all that, let's talk about what happened in the afternoon yesterday. So yesterday afternoon, we had, this is the morning where I got chopped out. Had I just went long down here in, in the 39.15 area and held the rest of the day, look at that all the way up to 39.90.75. And look what happened yesterday. So Fed Waller starts speaking this is at one o'clock. And look what we do. Uh, here is the 15 minute chart. Here is here is one o'clock. And look what happens. I'm gonna remove all of these drawings so you can see this is why it's important to go to your higher time frames and start drawing out your fair value gaps. Boom, and this one doesn't go up. I gotta try and get it all the way down to the bottom, but you, you see what I mean. So here is a fair value gap right here. The, this indicator that I use just throws it throws it in there for you so it's not very difficult we get at one o'clock he said Waller and also Treasury Yellen were speaking so it was a little risky to trade price comes all the way down into this 15 minute fair value gap boom to the very bottom of it and look what we do after that so now I'm going to go to the one minute chart and show you what was going on so here's that 15 minutes so it's important to draw these when you see them look at, I look at all the time frames at the same time so my chart usually looks like this you guys don't see this but I have three minute I have one hour and I have the 15 minute always like this and I'm looking for I'm looking for fair value gaps so when I see them popping up I start drawing them on my screen on my chart so now that you see that I'm gonna go like this uh, yesterday when this drop happened I was not looking. Um, I was also doing work at the same time, tr finishing up some stuff I had to do for work, and also trading. Just you know, just trading on an evaluation or a sim. I wasn't trading on a funded account, so I was, you know, when I'm trading on a funded account, I'm more serious. When I'm trading on an evaluation account, I'm not as serious. I'm just doing some really YOLO stuff. But um, had I seen us come into this lower or into the low of this 15 minute fair value gap, fair value gap, I would have got in. So I missed that one. I was short initially, and um, I think I shorted right here, but I did not take, no, I shorted here. I did not take pri profit. Price ran back up. It did not make sense. Um, and then once I figured out that news about the 25 base point hike instead of a 50 or more, um, then it all, clicked it all made sense we then we did come back down again right into the bottom just like that and you start seeing some movement you get the you get the e may cross here and look we never close below the 20 ema up until around this time frame about almost 230 and then we rip up even higher so you'll see that in a second so you have these fair value gaps. Price didn't come back into it, but you have this one, would have been a viable one. I'll show you, I'll zoom in so you can see it. Make sure you draw all of these on your chart, especially if you're learning. I don't always draw them because um, I don't really need to, but look, we never go below it. And then boom, oh, you would have missed that one? Cool, guess what, you get another one. You get another one, and I can't, all, I can't go to the very top there for some reason. 
and then look we never go below it you you buy in the fair value gap or near it and your stop goes below so it would have been a wide stop three four tick stop but it doesn't matter because guess what price just keeps going it's insane you even have another small one here and it's also viable for a short term right it's viable it comes close pops up so if you got in here 69 to 72 that's a couple points so then we do finally fall below it right but that's cool here comes power hour so power hour is coming and you get all of look at all of this price action boom you have this really tiny one here right here and price never went below this tiny one all of these dips you could have bought even here you could have bought once you could have bought twice sold bought again sold buy it again sell like it's just crazy the market just ripped ripped up to the moon and i'll show you when i was in discord i was explaining where i was thinking price would go to granted i'm not trading on a funded account it's just an evaluation account there were others in there one individual i'm not going to say his name made a lot of money he has a bigger account i want to say he's he made like forty thousand or something like that yesterday like i said i'm not going to say any names um, but he made a killing some others made some money but this is why i thought we were going to come up because we kept breaking through all of these other fair value gaps basically what you do is start drawing them on your chart and i like to draw if it's bearish i like to make it red do the same thing here make it red these are areas where you would be looking to sell so as here's 12 here's one o'clock and as price is moving up i'm going to go to the 15 minute so you can see it a little bit more clear so price goes up we clear this one and we just keep going i was expecting us to come up to in this range up here 39.96 that's what i kept saying after we were breaking these other levels i was like i think we could see 39.96 possibly even 4,000 today and if not today we could see it next week we just rallied so hard yesterday it was insane so that is basically it i wanted to show you all the possibilities yesterday if we just waited until the afternoon to trade even ict said it in his tweet in his tweets uh earlier in the day that it's gonna you know it looks like it might be uh, a good time to trade in the afternoon sometimes even in the discord before one o'clock i told everyone i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a break and i'll come back i'll come back after lunch which is one o'clock eastern time and 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 beyond and then we had someone mentioned that we had news and then it clicked and then i remembered yes we do have news and look at this price action that we got wow zers even this morning was still good like here's this morning still some really good price action fair guy fair value gaps would have played out so nicely or even the emas would have played out so nicely um, it was a little bit choppy uh, for the for the majority of the morning and then 10 o'clock we had this run and then we come back into this gap let's go to the three minute and see if we see any better i hate when it does that any better fair value gaps oh on the three minute even cleaner look at this look how clean this is on the three minute that's why it's important to go to all your time frames doesn't go below look at that look how juicy that is even here look at how clean that is look how clean this is on the three minutes sorry these are we're gonna be i'm just gonna leave them red I'm just trying to be quick here so i'm just showing you the possibilities of just simply using fair value gaps as your entry um, or egg you know or sell entries uh, short entries that is like it's just so it's so important to but when i just want to make it clear that when we are on a noticeable uptrend and we are on a noticeable uptrend don't trade against the trend trade with the trend and look for look for just look for those dip buys and then also make sure you're make sure you realize that when you have a an aggressive move in one direction eventually you're going to get that same aggressive move in the opposite direction this is like a perfect boom just perfect you can call it a cup 
forming and then but we're not going to go through that because ICT doesn't believe in all that crap so but if that's what you want to reference it as go for it but we completely filled almost filled this entire gap up here I'm assuming eventually we're going to come fill this one possibly next week could be Monday might be Tuesday I mean we might see some selling when you do have an aggressive move like this there will be some selling coming up behind it but we will have to see um, but that is it for me uh, like I said look into those definitely apex is very very cheap right now um, and also that 100 that tick tick 100k pro is very appealing I did purchase one of those um, I'm thinking about purchasing some more apex just to have them but at the same time uh, really thinking about it I don't know if I can handle anymore I already have so many accounts I have to trade on and plus I have a job so uh, I don't need to occupy all of my time with trading um, it's very it's really good to step away and take a take a break from trading uh, that's why the weekends are so amazing I'm gonna be watching some football today and tomorrow and after I after I'm done with this video I don't even want to think about trading until Monday so that is that and that is it for me today I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend if you have any questions uh, or comments leave those down below anything you want me to talk about in a future video uh, let me know that as well Numa, I will do my best to bring that up in a future video I hope you all have a good rest of your weekend take care and see you soon